こんにちは、タニーライフです、えー。今日はですね、あのー、私が南アフリカに来て一つ感じたことがあって、あのー、結構南アフリカの人が環境問題に対して高い意識を持ってるなっていうのをすごく感じました。うん。そう、それで、なんでしょう、今日はその、で、ロビンちゃんもそのうちの一人なんですけど、あのー、その僕たちがやってること、何、これをシェアするのは結構いいことかなと思ったんで、ぜひシェアしていこうと思います。I feel that the ones we do, that we'll talk about today, are very simple, very、uh, easy, and、um, I think they can, you can obviously pick and choose, and I feel it's important to always do what you can. It's better to do one small thing. And do your best at that, then not do anything at all.、Mm. I always feel make, doing one thing can always make a difference, and we should try that. Good. So, we want to talk today about a few ways、mm. that when you are living at home,、mm. that you can do your best to be kind to the environment and、mm. the world around us. So, we have separated it into Three categories. The first being waste,、mm-hmm. the second being plastic,、mm-hmm. and the third being energy slash electricity. Okay.、Mm. So I think what's important is what is waste?、Mm. And waste is sort of, we can look at that as when we have excess of things that we don't need. And then we get rid of it. And how we usually get rid of that is by throwing it away into a rubbish dump. And that can harm the environment、mm. in many ways. It creates pollution. Some of that waste goes into the ocean.、Mm. And that affects marine life and a whole lot of other factors.、Mm. So it is very important, I think, to try and limit. Your waste as much as possible.、Mm. And there are many ways to do that. And I think the first most important thing is something that most of us have is food.、Mm. And I think food waste is one of the bigger wastes I think that contributes、mm-hmm. to that. And we have both tried to cut down on food waste, firstly, because if you are Creating a lot of food waste that can mean that you're buying a lot more food. アフレコですいません、えー、編集しているうちにですね、えー、この外でのチェーンソーの音があまりにもひどくてこれは動画に出せないなということで今こうして音声で撮っています、えー、この後ロビンさんが言っていることは基本的には必要な分だけ買うということあとそのために私たちは2人でリストを作っていますこのリストに必要なものを書くことでショッピングするときに、えー、不必要なものを買わないようにというふうにしていますあとはですねもう一つ大事なこととしてどのように保存するかということも大事かなと私たちは思っていますそのことをこの後続けて話していければいいなと思いますのでどうぞ so knowing what temperature your fridge is and also Your pantry or shelves, making sure they're cool and dry, knowing where to put that. So that's very important. So, one、mm. way that I've noticed is if you put carrots in a jar of cold water,、mm-hmm. they, last a lot of, mm-hmm. they last a lot longer in the fridge.、Mm. And also, I've noticed sometimes that the carrots' roots get longer, and also sometimes they start growing、mm. little tops.、Mm. So, you know that that's working.、Mm. Also, another way we store food is putting your mushrooms in a brown paper bag.、Mm-hmm. So, this stops the mushrooms from going slimy.、Mm. And、uh, of course, as mushrooms get older, they start going brown and slimy. And if you keep them in plastic, it go, they go off quicker. So, the brown bag gives them air and also is much darker, which mushrooms like.、Mm. Another way is、uh, also. Knowing what you can freeze.、Mm. So, for example, if we have to buy a lot of tofu or a lot of spinach, we will always freeze、mm. half. 
So you can freeze spinach and tofu, you can put them in containers that you have at home. And we also freeze strawberries and blueberries because we mainly use them for smoothies and juices. Yeah. Mm. You can also freeze bananas. So as soon as you see your bananas starting to go brown and go off, you can freeze them, you can put them in a smoothie, or if you can, you could always start to defrost them and use them for banana bread or muffins. Yeah. Mm. So also another uh, thing about waste is fast fashion and clothes. So clothes create a lot of waste mm. um, and one of the ways we can prevent this is to firstly either stop buying fast fashion. I know that it is difficult for some people but fast fashion is basically you buy an outfit that's maybe fashionable for a month, two months and then when it's no longer fashionable you throw it away and you don't want to use it anymore firstly we can be donating there in south africa it's uh we have many charities that take uh clothes so you could always do them there and something that my family always did is when we would grow out of clothes our clothes were not donatable which is they are broken or have big holes we turn those into rags um so that for cleaning mm. which is quite useful that's good also, buying secondhand clothes is a great way of firstly supporting small businesses and charity shops, and also it's a great way to reduce waste. So, firstly, the plastic recycling rate is also by creating eco bricks. Now, eco bricks. You have probably seen them many times in our videos. We like to use as they are a great way to firstly um, put in non-recyclable plastic as well as things like toothpaste, containers, toothbrushes if you are not using them anymore and they're not wooden or recyclable or you don't use them for cleaning. And you can also put the medication um, strips, those, plas those metal plastic things, mm -hmm. you can put them in there as well and it's great. Now eco bricks are used for building and you can even use eco bricks yourself for building things. So my dad and I built a small coffee table out of eco bricks that we had collected which was fantastic and we use it every day. Mm -hmm. Easier, simpler steps that are great to switch, your, uh, switch up is not buying plastic shopping bags mm. is rather use your own bags so if you do use you can save those bags and take them back to the shopping the supermarket or we have non-plastic bags so material bags we take them with also another way that is great is um, stop using disposable uh, single-use plastic plastic straws so plastic straws um, they do are quite a wasteful item and any single-use plastic you should rather look at alternatives so at our house we have metal straws and bamboo straws that you can use some people use paper straws but having a straw that you can just wash when you do your dishes is great to just keep so yeah Okay, the last thing, third thing, is electricity and also energy. energy. Yeah. So one of the ways you can do this is firstly by turning off all the appliances that you do not use. Mm -hmm. For example, if you know that you're not going to use your stove until this evening, you can turn it off. If you know you're not going to wash your TV until mm -hmm. the night, you can unplug yeah. your electricity. So this is known as vampire energy. It's just energy that is not being used, but it's still going into the TV and to the kettle and the toaster when you are not using it. So that is a great way to also save money and save your electricity. <laughs> then we also do the flasks for hot water. So kettles 
use a lot of energy if you are not if you are using an electric kettle and not a kettle for your stove so one of the ways you can do this is by putting hot water into a flask and keeping that and the water will stay boiling for a long time and you can make tea and coffee or any other hot drinks throughout the day with that so actually I know we said three but I realized as I was talking about water number four water so in uh, 2017 uh, the Western Cape and many parts of South Africa were going through big was going through a big drought mm. and that basically means no water mm. and a lot of places especially poorer communities were hit a lot harder than people that had uh, access to taps it's one of the most important things is saving water as well and I think I came to appreciate the fact that South Africa has some of the cleanest drinking water in the world mm. and we need to take care of that. So one of the ways you could do that is number one, also, um, you know, saving, saving water is by, in your bathroom, not having the tap on while you brush your teeth. It's not necessary to keep the water running. Secondly is also showers. It's important to switch off. I switch off the water when I, I wet my hair and then I turn off, mm. use a shampoo bath. Yeah. Just small rinse. things, just mm. small time. Also, making sure that you don't, um, if you have a cup of water, I always find it better to use water bottles because I often find if you pour yourself a cup of water, you don't really know how much you want to drink. Okay. So you can empty that water out. Okay. That's most of all about it. Yes, those are just some simple ways. Obviously, mm. there's a lot more you can do and there's other things at work and it mm. all depends on your lifestyle and how you live. Yeah, I'm sure definitely the people do more than us. Yes. Days. Yeah. And we also want to do one day when, once we move to more like house not like flats mm. we want and to start to like make our own compost and yes, stuff and, and try food, uh, solar energy mm. yeah. eventually yeah should we just try our best to live off the grid mm. as much as possible yeah and also because i realized once after i moved to these countries because there's so many issues of like watering and electricity they still have uh, road shedding in here and water sometimes not yeah. walking sometimes some have problems so that's why we I mean especially South Africa need will realize oh we have to save things mm -hmm. and also that's why I wanted to share to mainly I think Japanese people because Japan has so many good uh, facilities it's not diffi it's difficult to realize what we have to do but so that's why good to share because the arts are the same we have to mm. you know everyone have to do our best, do our best for environment mm. Mm. Uh, yes so I think that is it for some simple ways that you can help the environment at home of course it all depends on your living situation and how many people live in your house and how you eat etc etc uh, if you like this video please leave a like and also if you have any other tips or things that you do at home you can leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already yep okay that's all about it that's about it thank you very much thank you very much see you next video bye bye, bye.